So part of the Invisalign submission and part of any orthodontic diagnosis and treatment plan, um, it's critical to have the proper radiographs. Okay, this radiograph is a CEPH. Okay, can you see it okay on the camera? Okay, so this is a CEPH. This allows us to evaluate the upper jaw in relationship to the lower jaw. Okay, and when we do this, we typically drop a line straight down. We can kind of picture a line from this point here. We drop a line straight down relatively, and the front of the upper jaw, which is right here, and the front of that lower jaw should somewhat be on the same line for the jaws to line up. You can see that my lower jaw is set back a decent amount, right? And then you can also see I have a very steep mandibular plane, right? That's why I kind of have like this egg head and this like long head, this very steep jaw line, okay? Um, and then I always assess airway. Looks like I got a nice large airway. No big deal. A lot of times in adolescents we'll see swollen adenoids right in here. But the second x-ray we take is this panoramic radiograph, okay? This lets me look at kind of a screening for the jaw joints, even though we cut it off a little bit here. Um, that's my own fault, but um, they look healthy. Um, we can kind of see all the bone levels, all the teeth. I had a weird, weird um, root amputation. I won't get into that today, but I, I'm not afraid to share. That's So that's what's going on here. That's where they actually cut off one of my roots. And then they filled it with root canal type of material. Anyways, these are the two radiographs that we take for every patient, but these are included for our Invisalign records as well. Okay, so since I'm going on my Invisalign journey, these will be submitted to Invisalign and then we'll take a look at this with the tech and try to figure out the best treatment plan for myself. Okay. We had already taken these photos. Okay. These were taken, obviously not today because I'm wearing a different outfit, but these photos were taken. So this photo is kind of ref a reflection of that side x ray and it shows us our jawline, which have a nice straight profile. This shows us facial symmetry. I think my chin's actually off to the left, just a tad here. It actually, it definitely is. If you look at this, this uh, view here, you can see my chin's off to the left side. So these are all important um, things to look at when you're evaluating um, you know, your bite, your jaws, and how everything comes together. So um, didn't shave this day. Looks a little wild. And it looks like I have coffee stains on my lips. No big deal. <laughs> Uh, and then we can see my teeth. Okay, we put bite marks on the teeth so we can see where I'm hitting. You can see I'm hitting back here kind of heavy, a little bit here, not so much over there. And then on the bottom, you can see I have a little rotation here. You can also see the bite marks again. You can see these great big, they're what we call tori. These are absurd. Not everybody has these this large. That's from a lifetime of stressing out and grinding and... <laughs> and just building a lot of extra bone that's unneeded just from clenching a lot throughout my life. Okay. So, yeah, everyone says I have beautiful teeth, and I'm very happy with my teeth, but I could use some um, improvements here, and that's what I intend to do with this Invisalign journey that I'm going on. Okay. So we took our photos, we took our x-rays, and the final part of our record taking process is to take our Itero scan, okay? This is, this replaces the old goopy uh, molds that we used to have to take. So this, this wand, it'll, it, you'll see in just a moment, will we'll record in three dimensions my teeth. And from that, we have a very accurate impression that all my Invisalign trays can be made from, okay? So you're going to see Helen here is going to take my scan and then I'm going to show you my teeth on the model here, okay?
We're doing upper as well. Sure. I just get the bite. Our three-dimensional models that we're gonna send along with the well, this actually gets sent directly to Invisalign. We're gonna tell the technicians what we want, and then you'll see in the next video the clean check that I get back, and then how I make my edits and how I communicate with the Invisalign technician. Okay, so that's all it takes to get your Invisalign started. <laughs>